everyone, uh, this is Blanca of BlancaValbuena.com and if you haven't met me yet and you just came up on this video on YouTube, um, I was a digital nomad which basically means I ran my business while traveling for about 10 years and then I recently settled down in Lisbon. Um, but before I did that, um, my better half and I did a lot of research and that included staying at Airbnbs in different neighborhoods to figure out what we would like because you know it's really difficult to move to a new country a new city without really knowing what it's like and that's one of my favorite things about airbnb is that um, i was able to try out all these different neighborhoods so this is actually the alfama which is the oldest quarter in lisbon because it is the one area that was untouched by the earthquake so you will see lisbon at its purest there are good things and there are bad things to that so um, let me go through Gonzalo's apartment first, which was a really comfortable apartment. It was the largest one that we ever stayed at in Lisbon. Um, I would say the only downfall of it was that we stayed in a really hot summer and it didn't have air conditioning, but he was a really good host. He brought us like fans and he tried to make us as comfortable as possible, but this was really a nice apartment. <coughs> Excuse me, I've had a cold the entire week. So now this is the apartment and one of the things that I liked about his place is that this is not one of those Airbnb Ikea specials. You can tell when people just buy an apartment and kind of just outfit it with all Ikea stuff and they buy the basics and it doesn't have a soul. They had a lot of beautiful furniture, um, everything worked, um, their kitchen was nicely equipped and it was really cool because the apartment was like a very different setup. So there were all these little nooks and crannies where we could hang out. Um, so just to give you an idea, it's a very large living room. If you go back one picture, you'll see the office in the corner and it was right on the River Tejo. So you could look out the window and you can see the river and you would see the cruise ships come in, which I'm actually not a fan of. Um, and that's the one downfall to staying in the Alfama. And if you're going to settle down in Lisbon, you need to be aware that the Alfama is a very old area. Um, it's very tiny little corners. And when the cruise ships comes in, it gets kind of filled up with tourists. So that's something that you should also keep in mind about this particular neighborhood. But the neighborhood, uh, the apartment itself was really comfortable. So you can see it's got a television, very nice furniture. Um, again, this is the office area, which was great because Antonio and I both work online. So it was nice that one of us could work in the dining room and the other one could take over the office. So that was really great for us. This is the bedroom. And as you can see, it's got a beautiful view of the river. <clears throat> this is bedroom two, which is a kid's bedroom. So if you have a family, it's actually better for you than it was for us because then you have a second bedroom for a child. I'm just going to keep scrolling through. Um, this is the entryway uh, where you see those red doors. That's where the bedroom is. And if you look at the doors to the left, that's going towards the kitchen. And this is the kitchen, which when you stay at an Airbnb where people actually live, it's completely different than one of those Airbnb specials. They'll have spices, they'll have all these different things. So it just makes it for a better experience and it really makes it so you live like a local. This was not my number one favorite Airbnb, but I would not not recommend it. It was comfortable, it was big, and it had pretty much everything we needed. So just kind of scrolling through the images to talk a little bit about the Alfama. This apartment would probably not be good for you if you're a little bit older or if you have mobility issues because you do have to go up a couple set of stairs and the Alfama is a really hilly area. So if you know, you're a little bit older or you have problems going up hills, you might want to pick a different neighborhood to stay in when you're in Lisbon. Bathroom was very comfortable. We had hot water. Um, and you, as you can see, we had a stand up shower and a tub, which is always nice. Um, you don't always get that in Lisbon. And this is the view of the apartment. There are plenty of restaurants in the area. This is very close to the Feira de Ladras, which is the flea market. Um, it's also very close to the Pantheon where you can see a bunch of um, the famous Portuguese people where they're interred. Um, and it's just a lovely area to stay at. This is number three in the series of my recommended Airbnbs. If you have a question about Airbnb, if you have a question about Lisbon, or if you have a question about running your business online, um, drop it in the comments and let me know. Um, and if you're interested in Airbnb discount code, just uh, drop me a message, all right? Thanks so much. I hope that you found this video helpful. And again, if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask. Thanks so much.